Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is Tyranny Watch News update. Uh, a mystery flight circles over Denver. Officials have few answers. Now, this was not a UFO, by the way. This was a terrestrial plane. There's no argument about that. So, UFO people don't bother with this one, unless you're interested in it as a plane. Thousands saw planes circling Denver metro area late UFO. Wednesday morning, questioning whether it may have, where it may have come from and what it might be doing. Officials and a host of federal organizations have few answers. That is bullshit. In other words, they don't want us to know. Denver began tracking a flight named Iron 99 as it traversed from California over the Pacific. It traveled over the Rocky Mountains and eventually over the Denver metro area. Its arrival over Denver metro is what prompted questions from a host of locals who saw it circling, questioning what it might have been doing. Visually, the plane circled in race racetrack style over shape over the city of Denver at roughly 32,000 feet several times. After spending time making its loops, the aircraft took off in the right path to Oklahoma without any record of stopping. Gee, you know, they know an awful lot about this thing for, uh, not knowing what it was, whose it was. Denver reached out, Denver 7, which is this station, reached out to host of official sources in an attempt to learn about flight more more about the flight but sources couldn't confirm many details at all public information officers at several air bases air, were able to confirm that such flight maneuvers suggest the plane is indeed a military plane and may have refueled while in the air over denver officials at buckley air force base said never checked in with towers on the base and did not land at base despite flying over the base's airspace. Uh, I'm sensing the BS is getting pretty deep here. Denver International Airport officials also confirmed no such place plane landed at the airport, and the towers wouldn't have come into contact with a plane uninterested in landing at the airport. I'm not getting that. The towers would, wouldn't have come into contact with a plane uninterested in landing at the airport. Why not? It was flying above the city. Further research in the plane's title, Fire 99, turned up bases in the northeastern part of the nation that frequently give out the title of iron to the military flights. However, the title is usually reserved for T 38 aircraft, which are distinctively black. When looking into Iron 99, it appears the flight had only communicated with the U.S. Army, no public communication available, as many commercial flights do. When contacting military, both U.S. Northern Command, NORTHCOM, and United States Strategic Command, STRATCOM, neither organization could confirm the identity of the plane or even lo locate it. Well, they are liars. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. North American... NORAD also investigated flight, however, they couldn't locate flight or confirm its existence. They are lying as well. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. When asked if flight might have been a high profile person, Mitchell said only high profile flights in the air were in New York and Indiana. When asking the FAA about flight, there is no information immediately available. However, the organization said it will continue to investigate.
That is incredible bullshit. Well, here we have ourselves a bit of a mystery. Uh, I'm going to see if I can blow this picture up a little, see if I can get anything off it. Well, there it is. You see it has four engines. It kind of looks like a passenger plane, to be honest. Maybe some aviation expert out there can identify at least what type of plane it is. But, obviously, somebody's doing something that they don't want the public to know about. I wonder what their interest in Denver is. I don't see any markings on this thing. We'll go into edit mode and see what we can do with it. But don't get your hopes up. Now they jerked this up to a point where. Not what it was. Well, anyway, there you have it. Looks to be on the large side, four engines. Possibly some kind of passenger plane, but I wouldn't. And there's some things that are bothering me about it. It doesn't look quite exactly right. There seems to be some things projecting out from it. Perhaps some sort of spy apparatus? I don't know. Something's going on. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching. And see if any of you people out there, or maybe aviation experts, maybe you can figure out what's going on with this. It's really, really weird.